But there's a second reason that point guards will blow these two-on-one opportunities. The second reason is soft bounce passes. Soft bounce passes will kill a two-on-one. There's a lot of coaches out there that are big bounce pass coaches. Bounce pass, bounce pass, bounce pass. You should always throw a bounce pass. I'm not one of them. I'm not saying you should never throw a bounce pass, so don't put words in my mouth. As a matter of fact, I think there's a lot of times in basketball when a bounce pass is a great idea. It can be a great pass to use to get the ball to your post player. Anytime you got to get the ball under a hand or under an arm, bounce pass is a great idea. But I think bounce passes are highly, highly overused. I think most point guards throw bounce passes just out of habit, not because they've got a good reason. Because here's the main thing you've got to always understand about bounce passes. Bounce passes go slower than straight passes, just by definition. First of all, they've got further to travel than a straight pass does, and then they almost always slow down a little bit when they hit the ground, so that slows them down and makes them slower than a straight pass. So just by definition, bounce passes go slower. And there's sometimes in basketball when that split second of difference doesn't really matter. Like when you're trying to feed your post player, that little bit of a slowdown doesn't really matter. But on a fast break, when time is of the essence, when split seconds do make a big difference, that bounce pass may be the difference between a nine and a turnover or a block shot or not even getting a shot off on an advantage break. So if you come down here, let's say, the, let's say you even take it with that I'm going to get me a nine mentality. So let's say you take it in here like that, and let's say you force this guy to commit to you. So here comes your teammate. And let's say you drop off one of those soft bounce passes. If this is a hustling defender, he's going to be hustling over here. And in that little bit of extra time that it takes your pass to arrive, well, once again, maybe he doesn't steal the pass. Maybe he doesn't block your teammate's shot. But instead of your teammate getting an easy nine, maybe once again he's got to settle for one of those tougher shots, a four or a five, because this defender is right on him. The pass that you want to throw, if at all possible, on a two-on-one situation, if you make this guy commit, the pass that you want to throw to your teammate is a face-high pass. A face-high pass. Write those three words down. You want to throw a face-high pass. And a, a face-high pass is just what it sounds like. It's a pass that goes right to your teammate's face. There's a lot of good reasons to throw a face-high pass on a two-on-one. For one thing, it's going to get there faster than a bounce pass, just by definition. And again, in a fast break situation, that little bit of time can make a big difference. Also, let's say you got a teammate that doesn't have very good hands. It's tough for them to catch the basketball. Well, if you throw it right at their face, that gives them the best incentive to catch the thing. Because if they don't catch it and it's going at their face, it's going to knock them right in the nose. If you make somebody that doesn't have very good hands have to reach way over here to catch something or reach way down here at their knees to catch it, well, no, they're probably not going to catch it. They're probably not going to be able to do something good with it. But even if you've got a teammate that's not very good at catching the ball, if you throw it right at their face, well, that's going to give you your best chance of getting a completion. And then finally, a face-high pass is very easy to turn into two points. All they got to do is catch and finish, catch and finish. Again, if you make your teammate have to reach way up here and grab a pass and pull it in and then make a play or reach way back here and pull it in and then try to make a play, well, that's not an eight or a nine. A face-high pass is like saying, man, I'm going to practically make this basket for you. I'm going to deliver this ball on a silver platter. I'm going to spoon feed you with this face-high pass. All you got to do is catch and finish, catch and finish. And here's the great thing about that face-high pass. About 85% of the time, you can throw it with no problem. Because most of the time, think about this de defender and the two-on-one. Two guys are coming at him. He's the one guy on defense. Two guys are coming at him. Most of the time, he's going to be in a, a position that looks kind of like this. His hands are going to be right here. Anytime you see a defensive player whose hands are right here, you can always throw that face-high pass. Now, yeah, if his hands are up and do, he's doing something like this, well, yeah, then you're going to have to throw a bounce pass. But just make sure you, if you throw a bounce pass on a fast break, you throw it for a reason. Don't throw it out of habit. Throw it for a reason. If you've got to get it under his hand or under his arm, that's a good reason. Just always know that when you do throw a bounce pass, you've got to put a little something extra on it because it's going to go a little bit slower. So when you're coming in here and you're this person with the basketball, the first thing is you've got to have that I'm going to get me a nine mentality unless you stop me. But this, at the same time, you should be looking at this guy's hands. Are his hands down? And about 85% of the time they will be. Or are his hands up? 
That way you know if he does stop you at the last second, if his hands were down, you know you're going to be able to throw that face high pass. So you're thinking I'm going to get me a nine when you're right here and you're looking at this guy's hands.